When we give, it transforms our everyday lives. A couple of years ago, we lived across the street from a young couple. They were in their mid-20s, and they had baby number four on the way. They weren't the church-going types, if you will. But after several invitations, they came to church. And then they became part of our community group. And then they became our really close friends. As a community group, we were really tight. We shared our joys together. We shared our sorrows together. We shared our lives together. And so on one Sunday afternoon, this young couple shared with our community group that they were about to lose their home. They had taken out a balloon loan on their home, and they were paying $1,000 a month for an $80,000 home, and they were about to lose it. And so God began to speak to each and every one of us. First, God began to speak to my husband, then to myself, then to our entire community group. And God said to us, give so that they can have. Sacrifice so that your friends can have what they need. And so that's what we did. That Christmas, we gave as much to our friends as we were spending on ourselves for that Christmas. And we collected $800, hoping that that money would save their home. I can remember on Christmas morning, gathering my husband and my children and walking over to their house with an envelope in hand. I remember handing that envelope to the husband, and I remember him weeping because he was so grateful for what his friends had done. What we didn't know is that he had already taken out his 401k to pay for the loan of the house and to remortgage his home and to save his home, his entire 401k. What they didn't know is that their entire group of friends, their community group, their brothers and sisters in Christ had sacrificed so that they could have a home to live in. And what neither one of us knew is that they would need about $800 of food for gas, for electricity, just to make it to the new year. 800 bucks, the exact amount that we had collected. Do you see what God does? God provides when we are in our deepest needs. God provides when we think we're going to lose it all. God provides. That Christmas, not only did we participate in the miracle of changing a young couple's life, but our lives that Christmas morning were changed as well. I remember driving to my mom and dad's. It was a three-hour drive and weeping and thanking God for an opportunity to experience some of the power of the Christmas miracle. Do you know what the Christmas miracle is? It is Jesus. God made flesh, Emmanuel, God with us. And that morning, I experienced the presence of God in ways that I'd never experienced the presence of God before. Why? Because God was there in the midst of pain. God was there in the midst of sacrificial giving. God was there as we laughed together, as we weep together, as we prayed together. Brothers and sisters, in Christ. Giving changes our lives. It transforms who we are. Amen? Amen. This morning we have an incredible opportunity to give. This is Pledge Sunday. This is the Sunday that we say to God and say to the church, we are committing this much of our income to God, and to God's ministry in the church. Do you realize when you pledge, lives are changed? When you pledge, people are able to experience the powerful transformation of Jesus Christ. 
through missions and ministries like Surge and Drive, youth group, children's ministry, missions, prayer ministry, all kinds of ministries in the life of the church that touch people and change their lives. Oh yes, when you pledge, a portion of that money goes to pay the lights, right? The light bill? But even those lights give us an opportunity to transform lives through the use of our space. Even the heating bill gives us an opportunity to make a kingdom impact on the people around us. I believe that God has strategically placed us on the corner of Anderson Ferry and Foley Road to claim lives in this community and throughout the entire city of Cincinnati. We are making a kingdom difference when we pledge. Now, many of you have received pledge cards in the mail. Maybe you received some as you were coming in on the way into worship this morning. We are going to take some time and prayerfully fill out these pledge cards. I think the ushers and greeters have some extra cards and some writing utensils. So if you need one, raise your hand. Now, last week I said that there are some of you who are not going to be able to pledge. I mean, you're not going to be able to make a pledge. Maybe you've lost a job. Maybe something drastic has happened in your financial lives. And I've challenged you to write your name on this pledge card and to say, please pray for me. You see, I've written out two pledge cards, one with my pledge and the other for my family. You see, my husband is currently unemployed. And like many of you, he needs the prayer, all the prayers he can get. Many of you who are struggling to find a job, you need all the prayers you can get. Church, this is a grace-filled process. Don't be afraid to write your name and your prayer on these pledge cards. Now, there are some of you who are going to be able to pledge two, four, eight, ten percent of your income, and I would like for you to write that out, to prayerfully consider what God is asking you to do. As the ushers pass these out, let's spend the next couple of minutes in silence, allowing God to speak to us about what we are to offer to God. Let us pray. I want to invite us to stand and to pray together. If you have your cards or if you don't have your cards, just open your hands to receive a blessing from God. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord God, we come to you this morning and we praise you for this incredible opportunity. God, you are our ultimate provider, a God who provides for us in times of need. God, you bless us in ways that we couldn't ask or imagine. And yes, we are a work in progress. 
It is a process for us to become more and more like you. God, here are our humble gifts. Here are our sacrificial ties. Here are our offerings. God, we pray that you use these, that you use these for your kingdom's purposes. Bless them, multiply them. Make these dollars go way further than we ever dreamed or imagined that they could go. God, in the midst of it, help us to be faithful, not only in what we give, but in who we are. Help us to serve you with our whole beings and offer our whole selves to you. We claim this. We pray this. In Jesus' name, and all God's people said, amen. 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 This morning, we are going to come forward and place our pledge cards in the basket. Even if you don't have a pledge card, I want you to come forward and just hesitate and pray. Pray for your family. Pray for someone you know is struggling financially. Pray. Maybe some of you are going to want to come to the altar. Feel free. If you know someone who is just in desperate need of financial help, I pray that you come to the altar and lift them up before the Lord. Our ushers are going to dismiss people from the back just like they would for communion. And we're going to start on the left side. And so if you're in the back, in the left, we're going to have you come forward and just circle around. Everybody on the left side, okay? Everybody on the left side, we're going to start and circle around. And as you bring these cards forward, I pray that this is a time of meditation, a time of just opening yourself up before the Lord, a time of offering yourself. We can give all we can. Church, let us come forward and give our offering to the Lord.